Okay, today we are doing heritage. We are doing heritage and we are looking at a new topic. We are looking at a new topic. Last week we did that. Today we are doing transport and communication. We are doing transport and communication. Can you write it down? Transport and communication. Where are you uh, scanning so? Okay. People need to move from one place to another. And they also need uh, to send messages. Okay, so when people are moving from one place to another, they use transport. They use transport. And we have got different forms of transport. Um, we usually use the common one that we use is road transport. Because we also have got air transport. We also have got uh, sea transport. And we also have got the rail transport. But nowadays, we are mostly using road transport because it is cheaper and faster. Uh, can I have examples of road transport that we use each and every day? Yes, Mel? Yes, cars. Yes, cars. Michelle? Yes, Michelle? Okay, I will mute. Um, okay. You were saying buses. Yes, can you so? Can I have examples of road transport? Things that can transport us from our homes, going to school, going to work. Oh, Mary has mentioned cars, and Michelle said uh, bus. Agatha and Scan, you so? Yes, Agatha. Yes. Commuter omnibuses. Yes, commuter omnibuses. Agatha, you said what? Motorbike. Yes, motorbikes. Eh, Mel? Bicycles. Yes, bicycles. And we have also said we can have rail and uh, and air transport as um, aeroplanes and trains. So these help us to move from one place to the other. And uh, if we are going to school, these enables uh, they enable us to be where we want to be at the right time. And I have also mentioned that people also need to communicate. People also need to send and receive messages. And this is called communication. This is called communication. Uh, our focus is on transport today. We will do a communication later. And then now we want to uh, see the, the relationship that is between population and transport system. Population and transport system. When we are talking about population, we are talking about uh, the quantity, the number of people who are living in a certain area. The number of people that are living uh, at a certain area or at a certain place. So we have got here in town, we have low density and high density. 
densities, low density suburbs and high density suburbs. In low density, can I have examples of low density suburbs? These are places where they are people and the houses are spaced. Uh, can I have examples for uh, like in here in Blawayo of low density? That is low density suburbs that you know where they are people. Houses are okay. I was saying we want relationships that you hear me because there is noise coming from the background there. Okay, so I was explaining, Michelle, I was saying we want to look at the relationship between population and transport system. Population and transport system. Can you hear me now? If you can hear me, nod your head. Okay, that's good. Okay. So I was explaining that here in town, uh, we have got uh, low density suburbs and high density suburbs. And then I had explained that low density suburbs, it means that there is low population. There are few, fewer people as compared to, higher, uh, to high density suburbs. And I have said the houses are spaced and they are bigger than those in the high density suburbs. And I had asked for, uh, for examples of low density suburbs in Blawai. That you know, you can raise up your hand and then I can unmute you if you are going to give us an answer. There are few people, they don't stay close to each other. And in high density suburbs, you can actually uh, greet your neighbor, you can shout, you can uh, discuss things, you can see what they are doing. Whereas in low density suburbs, uh, sometimes you don't even know your neighbor because the houses are spaced and there are few people. Can I have examples of such in Blawayo where people live? Can you say is that the end up? Okay, one example, can I will give you one example is Benside. Benside. And then we have got also Hillside. Can I have some more? Can I have some more examples? We have got Kumalo. We have got um, Queens Park. There are plenty of them. Plenty of them. Sunning you. Just to mention a few. Okay, are you writing them down? Under low density suburbs. Low density D E D E F A. Why are people scanning so and mail? Why are you moving and like you're yeah, taking things? You should be having your things ready before the lesson. Because I want to see you. Okay. Have you retained the examples that I've given you? For low density suburbs, Scar? Okay, can you hear me, Mel and uh, Michelle? Okay, 
have you written the examples down? U side, mm, Queen's Park, Okay, now we are moving on to high density. High I spell queen, queens. Mm, you queens. Okay. Yeah. okay, scan you say have you written? Okay, scan you so is uh, coming and disappearing. Okay, and we also have got high density suburbs. There are so many of them. Uh, so many of them, for example, we have got um, Nkulumane, Nkulumane, we have Vinketa. Are you writing them down? Agatha, can you give examples of uh, high density suburbs in Mozambique there and uh, the low densities in Mozambique? I said high density suburbs, there are so many people, they stay close to each other, the houses are smaller than those in the low density suburbs. Yes, Mel wants to give me an example. Hey, Mel? Luveve. Yes, Luveve, good. Any other? So in each and every town, it is like that. We have got low density suburbs and we have got high density suburbs. Okay, so you can mention four or five examples. Luveve, Nglumane, Nketa, Sizinda, Mpopoma, Chavalala. M. Ganwini and Pumula, all those. And uh, the low density suburbs are found in the uh, eastern side and uh, the high density in the western side. And uh, every day uh, people travel using different vehicles. And when they travel, like what I was saying, if you are going to school, if you are going to work, and if you are visiting relatives and friends, you, you, you move from where you are staying to where you are going using transport but the way we use transport again it's different um i mean the way people in the low density suburbs and those in the high density suburbs use transport it's different the the different kinds of transport that they use it is different i want you to look at this graph Okay. Have you seen it? Yes. Yes. Okay. If we look at this graph, there is a blue there and there is pink. There is a pink color and there is a blue color here. The blue color is standing for high density suburbs. Okay, Michi, listen attentively, you get where I'm going. Michelle? Okay, so we have got uh, blue standing for high density suburbs, and then pink is for low density suburbs. So we want to look at different modes of transport that um, are used here. Uh, buses, we have got buses. And we have got um, bicycles. 
So in, um, in high density suburbs, they use buses mostly. Get, uh, can you see the pink color is not there? The pink color is, is for the low density suburbs. It's not there. So which means there are no buses in the low density suburbs. Of course, now because of Corona, we now have got Zuko buses everywhere. But mostly, we don't have buses in the low density suburbs. And then uh, for cars, for cars, there are more cars in the low density suburbs as compared to the high density suburbs. Why? Because people in the low density suburbs can afford to buy their own personal cars because um, they, they are believed to have uh, money. They've got a high, higher income as compared to the, uh, low, to the high density suburbs. And uh, there, are few, they, they, there are only a few cars in the high density suburbs. And then we have got commuter omnibuses. They, again, they are more. They are more in the high density suburbs. Why? Because in the low density suburbs, they use their own cars. Only a few people use these. Are we still together? I know your heads. If you can hear me clearly, yes, okay, good. So we can move on. And then here, what are these? These are bicycles. These are bicycles. So again, they are more in the high density suburbs than in the low density suburbs. Only a few people. And we have stated, um, the, the reasons that um, people in the low density suburbs have got higher income, they've got money, more money than those in the high density suburbs. Of course, now people are just mixed. You can find some people who have got their um, things, they've got money, but they are in the high density suburbs. But mostly, the low density suburbs has got people who have got more money than in the high density suburbs. Are we still together? Okay, now we want to talk about in the rural areas. In the rural areas, they use scotch cards mostly as their means of transport. Scotch cards, and you find that they rarely travel. They rarely travel when they are going to school, they walk and they can walk even long distances going to school. And uh, the, the buses are busy during holidays, such as Christmas and Easter holidays. That's when people travel to and from the rural areas. Are we together? Okay, can you please write down uh, the pages? Page 85, page 85, 86, and 87. 85, 86, and 87. And the topic you've already written it, it is transport and communication. Our exercise is on page 87, exercise A. I'm going to send it, but you can also check uh, from page 87, exercise A. It is number one, A, B, number two, A, B, and number three. Okay, when you are sending your, when you are sending your work, make sure that your paper, let's say this is your paper, make sure that it is upright like this. Can you see it? Like this, don't send it like that. Are we together? 
Mel, can you hear me, Agatha? Yes, Agatha, can you hear me, Michelle? Mishi, can you hear me? Yes, I said send it like this, not like that. Okay, so today we were doing transport and communication and we discussed different types of transport that we use to move from one place to the other. And then we also discussed the relationship that is between population and the transport system. In other words, we are saying the type of transport that one area uses depends on, on that particular area. Like um, what I was saying that in the low density suburbs, we find, um, we rarely find a bus or commuter omnibuses as compared to high density suburbs. And we have also talked about transport in the rural areas that they rarely move um, using transport. Mostly they, they walk on foot and uh, to, to and from where they are going to the fields, to school, to the hospitals. And we said uh, transport is busy during Christmas and Easter holidays because that's where people are moving to and from the rural areas. Okay. Is that clear concerning transport and communication? Have you understood? I guess you did. Have you understood? Yes, Michelle is nodding her head. Agatha, have you understood about transport and communication? Mel? Okay. Uh, unfortunately, our time is up. We'll meet again tomorrow. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay.